wet day I had. I was hoping it's better. All I needed to do was jog around town. That's all. Oh, my head. Who the hell would do such a thing? Whoa! I hope that guy doesn't get me. I hope that guy doesn't get me. No! No! How about you pick on somebody your own size for once? Huh? Another masked individual. Who can this be? He looks like he's going for it. Well, serves you right. Wow! Awesome! Are you all right, sir? Yes, I'm all right. Who are you? <sighs> Just your streets, masked rider. And now I've got other jobs to do.
Masked Rider. Sounds cool. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for saving me. Masked Rider. Awesome. Another criminal down, a couple more to go. Well then, better turn on the television. There's bound to be news on the television about me. Hello, welcome to Breaking News. I'm Terry Mays. And today was a miracle. Today, a man wearing a Chinese mask attacked a, the Prince of Diamonds. And then, a, another masked figure attacked him back and saved his life. He calls himself Masked Rider. Now the man with the Chinese mask is in custody. He is called Golden Rim. Whoever this Masked Rider is, hope one day we'll be able to find him. And thank him personally. Personally, in the best way possible. That's good. 
That's the respect I deserve. I am the masked rider after all. Joe Ryder. The masked rider. That is my message. That's why I exist. To protect people from dangerous criminals like those. Raymond Street is a bad place. And I'm here to fix it. By any means necessary. Alright boy, let's do this. I'm ready father. Let's do this. You think you can fight me? Try again. Too slow. You're very fast. Get up like a man and fight. I am still an early learner, you know, father. Uh, good luck. That was good effort. I'm improving a little. I'm glad you liked it. That's good to hear. You've got to try harder though. I'm not going to be here forever. I need a successor. This masked rider persona. It is a mantle. Passed on from father to son. It will keep on going. I need to train you. In order for you to success, In order for you to success me. In a good way. I need a fighter. Not a lover. But that was okay training today. Tomorrow night, I'll take you into the darker parts 
of Raymond Street. And I'll show you how I fight. That'll make you learn something. Really, Father? That sounds so exciting! <sighs> Good. You really are such a son, aren't you? Alright son, just to let you know, this will be your first night of proper training exercise. I'm gonna find some bad guys, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna fight them. And that will show you how the Masked Rider really fights. Okay dad, I'll watch and learn. Just like the pros. It's a car. Hide, son! What's wrong, Dad? You seem afraid. Must be the Mitsus gang. A gang. It must mean they're here. Alright son, this might be your chance to see me fight. I'm gonna do a snake attack. Alright father, kick their asses. I wanna see you try. Well, 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 what have we here? And who the hell are you? I'm just a man, minding his own business. Alright boys, get him!
Oh wow, what a badass! I think I put up a very good fight. I'm not going to get into trouble for this! I'm out of here! Father? Father? Father! 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 Speak to me, Father! Speak to me! Speak to me, Father! Speak to me, Father! Please don't be dead! I'm sorry, Father. It's a really hard time without you. Father, I know it may seem early, but I think I should take on the mantle to become the Masked Rider. I've only trained a couple of days, but Raymond Street, Raymond Street needs its Masked Rider to fight the criminals of this town. I'm the only one worthy enough to take the title. I would have to train myself in order in order to fit in your shoes. That's what I'll do. I'll become the masked rider.
Oh. Memories coming through. Not the best time to do so, though. Someone's at my door. Must be something important. Daryl! Hi, Sandy Yoris! Do it, bye! Welcome! Sorry this place doesn't look convincing, but it's home. Well, that's fine with me! Come right in! Alright, I'll come in! So, what's happening recently with you? Anything good? <sighs> Life's been alright. Except, I got kicked out my bum. I got kicked out my bum. <sighs> I'm having trouble speaking out here right now. I have trouble. Because I just got kicked out of my 
apartment. <sighs> Couldn't pay the rent. Also, you know that lady I've been dating recently? She broke up with me. Well, that does sound hurtful. Mm. Tough times. If you could help out, maybe I could be better. Well, since you're, um, since you're so trustful, how about you, um, share this room with me? We live in the same apartment together. But there are rules though. No going through my stuff. That's secret business. Really? Me and my buddy Joel? Very, very funny. Very exciting. Alright then. That is good news. We'll share this apartment together. We'll be buddies. I was just sleeping. Which I might go back to just right now, actually. <sighs> Alright! Have your rest! Danger! Danger! There is an armed robbery at a grocery store. Three men in masks. They're all pointing guns at the cash registers. This looks very tough. And the police have to be careful before it might startle the robbers. Which we don't want to startle them in case they might fire. I see you got your own little lady on, Joel. <sighs> oh, sorry, Jimmy boy. But I've got to go to the bathroom. It's urgent. That's alright. I'll let you be. I'll look after this compartment. I'll look after this apartment for you. Don't you worry. I'm sick of waiting. You promised me my money. Come on, give it up. Uh, 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 I'm afraid we don't have any money, sir. Oh, go in the cash machines. Grab it out, put it on the counter, and give it to me so I can be satisfied. Come on. I don't want to pull the trigger, but I would have to. But that would be against the law. Give me my money! I think you've done quite enough harm for one day. Oh, look at this. It's the Masked Rider. So... Who are you going to defeat today? It certainly won't be me. He owes me my money. You are pointing a gun 
a cashier at a supermarket. A supermarket of all places. You just want to cause trouble like every other criminal in this town. Stop messing with my feelings! I'm afraid I can't do that. That is the law of the last rider. Better make your move. Missed again. You made me drop my gun. You're gonna pay for that. <sighs> Masked Rider! You're here! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I thought I was a goner. I can see that you're okay. No harm done. I might. Take a souvenir with me. Take whatever you want. I don't care. You saved my life. That is what matters. I'll take the black bean, thank you. I'm in a jolly mood today. What a day, what a day. <sighs> oh, hi, Daryl. Joey! Hope you didn't touch anything. Nope, didn't touch a thing. Everything's all secured. Good. <sighs> you took an awfully long toilet break. Well, it was worth it. For a guy like me. Ah, Joe, that jacket, same colour as Masked Rider. Maybe you are Masked Rider. You don't think? Ah, oh, maybe it's just a coincidence. A lot of people have got green jackets nowadays. It's the new black for 2020. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I don't want. Ah, oh, he's acting a little weird, huh? Must be in his own thoughts. Hmm, I can be in my own thoughts too. Hello and welcome to Raymond Street News. Today, a rubber with a mask. Entered. I'm getting shy about this. A grocery store. And pointed a gun at a cashier and demanded money from him. Luckily, a masked individual, masked rider again, defeats him. Masked rider is a legend. Masked rider. 
Let's hope he can try to beat the masked killer. I've killed before. But let's see if he can solve my new killing case, which will begin very soon. We will meet one day, Masked Rider, and we'll see who's better at doing a job. Hello, what's on the interface? Today we're going to do something extra wacky! We're going to talk to the Prime Minister of Raymond Street. Right. Prime Minister, what do you think of the new vigilante known as Masked Rider? I do not like him. I don't like vigilantes working on their own without police supervision on our street. This situation should be handled by the police. Every criminal situation should be handled by the police. Not some kid in a Halloween mask breathing up people. I hate it. It's disgusting. Not a lover. Well then. Let's just end the show quickly. I'm getting bored. And next time on the Wacky Network. I want to get off this show. I hate it. A kid with a red t-shirt and glasses. I hate it. I want real life news football. Security footage. I want that. I don't want sleazy TV shows. Movies, webs. I'm all about facts. Now, I've got to go back to the good house and meet with my jolly good friends. Why is it so dark in here? Hello, Prime Minister. I've been waiting for you. Who the hell are you? And what are you doing in the best room of all time? I heard you don't like the Masked Rider. Not a big fan myself. You want your worries to disappear? So be it. Pain is great, isn't it, Prime Minister? So much pain! I love it. Every stench of death. It's glorious. Must killer has come to the scene. <laughs> That's number one done. Now we should continue with the alphabet. Doesn't that sound fun?
Alright, Bolonsky. I'm not gonna be nice to you anymore. Tell me, where are the drugs? Oh no, I don't know. Just leave me alone. You really are weak. I'll give you another one. I won't tell you again, Blonsky. Where are the frickin' drugs? Oh, come on! I can do an interrogation scene much better than that! Who gave you this stupid movie anyways? The shopkeeper! Jonas! I think this is an alright movie. Not bad. It's not a very pleasing movie. Not from my standards. So, you have time to talk? Yeah, I have time to talk. What do you want to talk about? Good. Well, <clears throat> you were there at my father's funeral. I'm still dealing with a trauma. Are you dealing with any trauma recently? Trauma? Well, Can't really say much, but I'm still trying to get in touch with my ex girlfriend. Uh, I can't believe she dumped me. Oh, come on! Your bloody girlfriend? Come on. Couldn't there be any other trauma? Like your mom and dad, your grandpa and grandpa, your uncle and auntie, relatives, siblings? Anything. All of my relatives are okay. Except for my granddad, who died of old age, but except for that, I'm not going through any trauma. Not at all. You're still soaping about your girlfriend. Great. Anyways, if you're not interested in this movie, are you interested in going to a coffee shop? <laughs> I might go for it. Great! Then let's go! <sighs> we could take this conversation further. Yeah, we could. Oh. Well, Joey. Oh, what was I going to say? Uh... Oh, yeah. Have you talked to that girl yet? That single girl. I'm not really interested. Let's not go there. Not interested? Come on. There's plenty of girls out there. And that's... That girl looks like it's... Ah, that girl is falling for you like a tulip. Delicious. I've tried to talk to girls in the past. In high school, I knew this really beautiful one which I tried to talk to. She rejected me because she prefers more buff men over little skinny men like me. Why can you go f why why couldn't you go for a coffee? 
You've got cordial. Look. I got a nice cup of warm coffee. Not a big fan of coffee. And besides, the coffee they sell there is disgusting. It tastes good. No point denying that. So, uh, have you heard about some of our other old friends? Oh, I've known a couple of friends. Louie, Jeff, Matt, Nog, any of them really. Even you, Daryl. You're always there for me. You're there the most compared to most friends. You seem to have the least of the criminal records. Aside from me, of course. Well, Louis. The last time I saw him, he had to get himself out of jail. Petty theft. All for a pack of sour worms. Pathetic. Ugh, revolting. And, uh, Davis! You remember Davis? The one who couldn't help himself climbing the ladder to the tallest water tank. Got himself in a lot of trouble. And there's our artistic friend, Ruft. Ruft. The messy one, who cannot keep an area clean, because he's always looking for something. <sighs> mm. <coughs> 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 huh. Forget what I said earlier, this coffee is revolting. Whoever runs a coffee shop, ugh. Not such a good place. <sighs> well, of course. You didn't seem to like it earlier. <laughs> I think we should leave. I just wanna gather my thoughts somewhere else. What a dream over. Ah, uh, thanks, Joe, for letting me borrow your TV. Daryl, we're only sharing a TV. Nothing else. It's still technically borrowing, right? <sighs> Same boring spots. I want to look at more interesting stuff. The news. Let's just change the channel. Alright, here's the news channel. Let's see what we got today. Hello, and welcome to Raymond Street News. Today was a tragedy. A very big tragedy. A very big death. The Prime Minister of Raymond Street has been murdered. The president? Murdered? Prime Minister Daryl? Gosh. Ah, oh, always messing up. Ugh. The Prime Minister murdered.
I don't have the words to say it, but I should let the Vice Prime Minister say a few words. I believe it's war here. I believe the killer is Masked Rider, the guy that the former Prime Minister hated. And it must be revenge for being hated, which means he killed in retaliation. I believe he's a killer and should be put in jail. I'll organize a manhunt for Masked Rider and we'll make him speak. I will be taking the Prime Minister's occupation. I am no longer the Vice Prime Minister. Looks like the Vice, now proper Prime Minister of Raven Street, Raymond Street, the new and current Prime Minister of Raymond Street has declared Masked Rider the killer. I don't know how to say this, but I don't think I agree with him. Masked Rider? What? That's ridiculous! He's a well-known hero! Why would a hero do such a thing? What? What? This cannot be! Sorry, Daryl. Bathroom break. Again? How many bathroom breaks do you need? I'll let you go. Bust us once. Extremely long bathroom break. This cannot be, this cannot be, this cannot be, this cannot be, this cannot be. This really cannot be. Why am I being framed as a criminal at this time of day? At this time at all? Masked Rider is a symbol of hope, peace for the world. And now I'm being treated like a criminal, all because the Prime Minister doesn't like me. Doesn't like me being up, people. What a reclusive asshole. <clears throat> but, anyways. I'm gonna find that killer, move to this, and put a stop to it. I'm the Masked Rider, the police cannot stop me. I've trained, I've trained more, with proper strength. I've learned from the most skillest of all time. means I'm gonna use my skills to put the good work and put a stop to this killer and let's and let's hope this charade ends. Alright, time to get to work. What have we here?
Is that what my finger is? It looks like blood. Let me have a better look. It's just torch. Yes, it is blood. <sighs> Must have come from his body. Must have had a tiny drop left here after he died. <sighs> Let me just look for clues somewhere else. evidence anywhere huh what is this sticky note let me have a I'll stop that <clears throat> the man that's the Prime Minister of Roman Street <clears throat> the former Prime Minister anyways BC. Oh no. I hope it's not my fingers. But it may be right. I think it's killing through the alphabet. Shit. Sing. Central. Daryl. Daryl! My best friend. Eugene. I've gotta. Boss. He's the next target. I've gotta look him up. Just so he's not targeted next. That's got to. Gotta get out of here though. Before the police arrive and apprehend me. Right. Ball sing. Wikipedia, all right. Thank you. Bolsey, a famous actor. Right. Prime Minister Alistair is a very well known figure, and everyone likes him. And that's why whoever killed him killed him. And this is another famous guy. Central. That's the one after this one. He's a um, famous movie director. And there's Daryl, my friend. What's he got to do with the famous? Forget it. Eugene. Eugene Hunt. <sighs> the famous makeup artist. Most of these are related to movies. But I've got to get to Bolsing. I've got to stop the killer from killing Bolsing. It's going to strike. The killer's going to strike. 
It's gonna kill Bolson. I've got to get to him quickly. I've got to drive there. It's gonna be a long ride, but I can't walk. It's a very long way away. He lives out of his town. I've got to get out of police radar right now. Right. Time to take my spotless ride. I think this must be the place. Coming, coming. <sighs> yes? Oh, hi. My name is Joe Ryder, and I'm here to investigate. If you're so kind to let me in, please. Are you with the police? No, I'm not a police officer. I'm just some regular investigator. If you're not the policeman, I think you should leave. What? No entry? Because I'm not a police officer. Things are gonna be very difficult here. Oh well. Make sure you duck this. What? What the? Ha! That'll teach you a lesson for not letting me in. Right, time to investigate. All I've got to do is find his room. Yeah. He has toys and clothes all over his bed. And he has another bed. Must be rich or something. If he was rich, he would think keep things more organized. He must just have a lot of money. Look at all his stuff. He just leaves it lying around. Never bothers to clean it up. Some movie actor. Oof. Why is there a bloody dinosaur on the ceiling? Who does that? Ugh. Man, man, man. We gotta get this guy a cleaner for his room. Hey, what do you think you're doing in my room? Oh, oh gosh. So it's you. Your name Bolsing, the famous actor. Yes, I'm Bolsing. A washed out actor. Washed up? What the heck happened? I mean, you're a famous actor, you're a famous actor, and you live in a dump of a place. Well, this mess is there to help me think up of new ideas. But Nothing comes up anymore. I can't get a good acting role. My only movie roles nowadays are in cheap, straight to DVD comedies. Not some cinematic experience of a lifetime. 
I used to be a star of many things. But now, I'm going into the abyss of darkness. Huh, can't get a lot of films recently, huh? Uh, that's a tough. It's a tough world you're living in. You heard about the Alistair murder, haven't you? The murder of Raymond Street Prime Minister Alistair, right? Yeah, I've heard about that. I saw it on television. The news said some masked guy killed him. Well, I found a clue. I might as well show you. What the? My name's on that thing! Yes, your name's on it. You're the next target. Whoever killed Prime Minister Alistair now wants to kill you. So are some. Oh, I know some of those people. Eugene, Central, Daryl. I don't know Daryl, but I know the other two. He's killing based on the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. It goes on. He'll kill until the alphabet is done. And I'm here to protect you. I found this when I was investigating the area. Yeah. But yeah. He's killing all those type of people. What a mess. Oh, this is going to be terrifying. Terrifying lifetime. If you got to get out of here, you might know where you live. Come on. Just pack your things up and... We should get ready. You want me to come with you? I don't trust strangers, you know. I only trust myself. But if my life is in danger, you seem very dependent on my safety. So I may as well. I'll go pack my things, I'll clean up this room so someone else can use it. But first, let me do one thing. Can you just let me in the bathroom so I can shave this nice little beard? May as well. I'll let you. Thank you. <sighs> oh, razor. I need my razor. Uh, let's begin then. He never seemed to come on time. I'm much more experienced. <laughs> uh. 
Ah, he's been taking a long time. I might as well see what he's up to. Hurry up in there. I'm waiting. We have to go. Come on. It can't happen again. I just had it in my grasp. Great. Now I'm going to be frank for this. This killer, he knows my every move. Gotta trick him. Trick him in a much better position. Because if he kills the next person, he's gonna kill Daryl. I don't want that to happen. I've gotta do something about it. I've got to do something now. I lost again to a psychopath. Bastard. Bastard. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you killing bastard. I'll get you. I'll get you for this. Oh, don't worry. I'll get you for this. I'll get you for this. <sighs> no, son. Don't think like that. No, father. Being angry is what I shouldn't be. I should still think clearly. And keep my eye on target the whole time. I let my eyes off him which got him killed. I just gotta protect this one. Which means I can protect Daryl and the rest of them. I just gotta protect this next target from the killer. And keep your eye on that attempted victim. And that will do you good. Thanks, father. I like that. I always be there for you, son. Alright. Was he a producer and a makeup artist? One of those, anyways. I've got to get to him and fast. Just go pinpoint his location. And get to his location. There. A movie script is finished. And now, I'm going to put it to good use. Oh, hello. Who the hell are you? Ah. <sighs> I'm just some personal investigator. I gotta give this script to the filmers, to the actors, 
I gotta get it down soon. I'm here to solve a case. A case involving murder. This murder case involves the murder of the Prime Minister, Alistair, and the actor, Bolsing. Yes, I've heard about those. Well, you should be familiar with them. You must know them. Bolsing. Oh, I, I was planning to put in my film, but it's just so messy. Well, Eugene is one of the victims, and so is Daryl. And Eugene, the makeup artist. I've got him in back. Daryl. Well, I also plan to have him in the movie, but he seems to be having his own troubles right now. You have to stay here, for the sake of your life. I once kept my eye off two people, and they both died for it. You should stay here, and I'll keep an eye on you, so you don't die. Someone's gonna kill me. Oh, I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Right. I'll just stay in this bed, make sure I'm safe, then make sure I don't die. You're technically my bodyguard, right? You should be. Wow. Hey, it's only me. <sighs> I thought someone was going to kill me. Personal investigator, you said. My new movie script is about detectives finding a serial killer. But they can't find him because he's very clever. Very, very clever. <sighs> Maybe I could have you in, you in my movie. A real detective. In my movie. That'll make it more realistic. I'm not really into movie business. Ah, I was so close too. What's your name, by the way? Paddy's my own business. Come on, everybody's got a name. Spit it out. That is also my own business. Ah, you're so persistent. Ah. Well, I'll give you a nickname. Nikki. Use that name. And I'll hurt you very badly. Deadly. No, don't worry. That's just my pizza guy. He always comes around. No, don't answer it! Oh, hello, pizza guy. How's it? Shit. Is this the killer? The 
this would have to be him. The killer. Interesting. Interesting. Had to kill a guy to get through here. And look what I found. Two people in the same room. How interesting. Ah, uh, it's rude. I'm being rude right now, I'm not introducing myself properly. I am known as the Master Killer. Well, not known yet, but I will be known now soon. But Master Rider is taking all my glory. Well, it keeps me from getting targeted by the police, but... So what? I still want to be known. Mask killer, that's your name. Who shall I start with first? Yeah, you have to know my name. But you know I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna hurt you very badly. A man like you think you can kick my ass? Who do you think you are? I didn't tell you my name, but I can tell you my code name. My name is Masked Rider. And I'm ready for you. You're the Masked Rider! People are saying you're the killer. But this guy, right here, he's totally a killer. This must be some big ass understanding. This conflict is yours. I'm out of here. Masked Rider. I've been waiting. Masked Rider! Oh, I'm such a fanboy. Master Rider and my victim in the same room. Oh well. This is interesting. Show me what you've got! Alright then. No weapons, just regular fighting. I'll show you everything. Let's Oh, what such strength! Mmm, you're beaten to the ground like a sick old puppy. What a tragedy. Ah, I can taunt you as much as I please. Oh, oh that hurts! Don't underestimate me. Just because you can look at me when I'm injured doesn't mean you can talk about it and stop fighting. That's what Catholic does. <laughs> no more of that. I'm gonna get serious now. Do this again, shall we? <laughs> oh, no, I should ask the best question. Why you kill these people? Hmm. Why? No reason. 
Uh, just for attention. I also wanted to get to you. Get to your sparks. It's such a game. Just for the sake of it. So you can try to tune technique. So you can get to me. So you can beat me in my own game. This is a game to you. I so want to kill this guy right now. I want to beat the shit out of you. Ugh. I'm satisfied now. Too much beaten up. You cannot fight me any longer. I'm gonna leave the police to you. What a normal citizen will do. Give you up to the police. Yes! Finally, they caught the killer. Turns out, the Prime Minister was wrong. The Masked Rider isn't the killer, but a figure named the Masked Killer. He is now in custody of the police and will serve jail time for his crimes. I'm not happy to say this, but the Masked Rider took her out, that son of a bitch. The one that's really been doing the killings. <sighs> Looks like I was wrong after all. The Masked Rider isn't a killer. It's some guy called the Masked Killer. Named himself after him. <sighs> but well, I gotta keep myself posted. This is gonna be a very hard job to fill. <sighs> Rest in peace, Prime Minister. Hello, Daryl. Joey, you're back. Another long bathroom break. How much comes out of you, anyways? Ugh. Oh man, everything's been very good in my life recently. Getting better. Ah, and. Guess what happened? When you're gone yet again from my life, I went to the supermarket to buy a few things like these red kidney beans. And that's when I met her, the love of my life. But I bet you only just met her judging from the way you're talking. If you met her just recently, you can't really consider her the love of your life. Doesn't matter if I just met her, she's still so sweet. I could consider her my girlfriend. I could marry her. Very nice indeed. You're weird, mate. Very weird. <sighs> so, what about you? Any love in your life? in girls. I'm still trying to move on 
From my dead father. Oh, wait a minute. You're too busy remembering about the past. Then, about the present. The pleasant. How will that feel? More than pleasant. In the bloody past, mate. But some people might as well live in the past. You can't really force people to change their minds, Daryl. <sighs> this has been a very interesting dinner. So, <sighs> I cannot ask you anything. So, what do you plan to do the next couple of days? I plan to go to the movies and see a couple of my favorite films. There's one I really like, the one with Harrison Ford. Oh my gosh. Actually, you might meet Chris Pratt. Whatever. Actors are actors. Oh, my favorite movie of all time. It was... Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Isn't that one considered the worst of the franchise? Well, it was there. It was in their books there were the worst of that movie, but I liked it. I thought it was a nice modernization of the originals. How rumba! Well, I have been thinking, and it's just the two of us, but I think we need more of us out there. I think we should have a proper reunion of our best mates. Or seven of us. Yeah, we could, uh, we could go shopping, we could do a lot together. A nice little reunion with the best friends. I'm up for it. So where do we start? <laughs> You've made quite a reputation, Masked Rider. 
I'm impressed. But you you want to know something else? The master killer is only the beginning. Shocker will finish things off for you. Time to start Project Rider.